Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we are on the island of Scrapbook by my good friend Ray. We're going to be touring this incredibly unique island. I've never seen anything like it before. Scrapbook is actually a island that's modeled after a scrapbook. So it's kind of felty and a little bit cardboardy. Very cute. I cannot wait to show this to you guys. It's absolutely amazing. Let's get started. So Ray did show me around this island herself and I had the opportunity to go through it with her. And I'm gonna just go through and I will insert some of the footage from that visit throughout this video. It did come out really cute. So here we are, we're just walking across the front. All of the flowers are like wands, they're kind of picked. Here we have a villager's house and they have a little garden over here. I love the way everything was set. All of the custom codes were made by Ray herself. She used a lot of these yoga mats and I love the little cutout kind of feeling of this island. It just came out really cute. So here we have a little apple orchard and apparently somebody was writing some captions or stories and it just wasn't working out so you know those ended up getting scrapped we have a little campfire over here with the stick that you're gonna put your um, fish on in order to cook it which is really cute and then over here we have a villager's house the villager is growing pansies it looks like blue pansies and the way they're dropped to make it look like they're growing out of the felt is super cute. I love the way this looks. It's such a unique idea. So cute. Like I said, I've never seen an island like this before. This is so cool. So here we have Eric. Eric's just a cutie. Just He just is. And then we have our Abel sisters. Abel sisters have like a Joann's kind of situation going on here where you can learn how to scrapbook in front of the Abel sisters. I love the curtain that hides whatever they're wearing in the mirror. And when you open it, all you can see is the little like scraps of fabric, which is super creative. And I love that. The streets here look like they're gray felt. They look like they're sewn on. I love the way everything just looks so sewn on here and it's just such a fun and kind of magical way of doing an island. So we have a little potato farm over here and some little uh, turnips over here, which is really cute with our little turnip stand. That's absolutely adorable. And over here we have the town's little lake. And I just think it's really cute if you turn it like this, you can see the fish kind of jumping over the little leaves, leaves and the grass standees. I just think that came out really cool, kind of creative, just really neat. And then we have the Cosmo showers back here. Those are always really fun. And they just block off the back of resident services. If you come over here, I've never seen anyone alternate the fence and the grass standee like that before but it does look really really good just super appropriate let me try to make my way this way over here we have another little farm we've got a bunch of little starts in the ground and this is where our campsite is our campsite is super cute here i love the way this looks this is really awesome. I love the glowing, the little vine benches here or the vine stools, whatever. I think they're benches and it just looks really cute with the campsite in the background. This is such a cute little scene right here. Everything here is just adorable and childlike. It's almost like a kid core island in a way. It gives me kid core feels, you know, down here we have a little hyacinth farm. It kind of reminds me of the Dole Plantation in Hawaii, just very cute. And then we have a little seating area here on the beach. I really love this little custom code right here. All of the custom codes are available on the portal on this stream address, which I will put down in the description below, along with Ray's um, creator, her um, 
Instagram so that you guys can go and check her out over on Instagram. She has a, a lot of really original ideas right now. She's making a cardboard island, which is really cool. And then here we have a little pear farm, which is really cute. Mom's plushie looks so good on this island. Very appropriate. The mom items, I imagine, they really look good throughout this island. We have some villager houses right over here, and these look really nice as well. With a little apiary over here. Oh, look at the little cosmos and then the little beehives. Everything just looks so cute. It's cute as a button with all the buttons around. You see what I did there? I know that wasn't good. It's okay. But look at the little bear in his little yellow shirt. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And then if you come along over here, you're going to have like a vine uh, farm. So you have vines over here with a bucket. I'm pretty sure Isabel probably doesn't like this island too much if you think about it. There's a lot of dropped items here. She's probably really unhappy. And then here we have a little area where you can read and enjoy some tea. And then this cute little lay down area on the beach. I love this little path made out of the yoga mats. It's really cool. And then we have another little pond over here. It's kind of a community pond. She got really creative. In order to block off certain areas, she took the folded document or the document and she customized it in the code of the island, like of the island decor. So you can't actually walk through it. It's not one that you can walk over. It's a real placed item. So you can't really walk on the water. Look at how cool that is. That's crazy. And then over here we have the lily farm. And that is just precious. I love the way that looks. Oh my gosh. If you come over here, there's a little mush garden right over here, which is really cute. And then we have our another little sapling farm. And I think these are bushes. Yeah, they are the little bush farm. And then there's a little missing toy duck over here. I do love that everything is so, um, it's just so unreal. It's, I tour a lot of very natural, realistic islands. And this island is so refreshing because it's just not, um, but in the best way, you know? It's so, it's so cute and just so wholesome. And it just makes me think of so many, like, happy things. It just gives me happy thoughts. Here we have our little pumpkin farm, and I don't know if you can tell, but these are little jack heads. Look at how cute that is. That is the jack's um, mask, and it's turned backwards. And look at how cool that is. I love the way that looks. It looks so appropriate. It does look like cloth. So I love the way that looks. That's really awesome. And then if we go over here, we have a little laundry area. And this is so cute as well. Just so, I don't know, felt like. <laughs> is that what I'm going to say? Probably. <laughs> but it is. It's very felt like. And that was the community pond behind the turnips. So if we come over here, we have a wheat field. Of course we have a wheat field. And I love the way the wheat was placed on this little yellow block over here. And we've got a scarecrow in the background over there. And a little seating area right here. It's just so cute. Let's go inside the house. Oh my goodness. So inside this house is where Brewster was obviously, I don't know, multiplying? Is it an owl? It's a roost? Is it an owl's roost? Oh, she told me a story about what this was and I can't remember anymore. Oh my goodness. Bad brain. Okay. But it's really cool looking. Very dark. All right, let's, let's go. Up here were the invitations that they're sending out to the farm. That's so cool. 
I don't remember what all of... Oh, they're carrier pigeons. I get it. Hi. Hello. I remember the story now. Okay. So they're looking around the world. They're kind of like Santa Claus, right? They're making their list. They're checking it twice. And they're sending out their carrier pigeons all over the world with invitations to scrapbook. That was such a great idea. I can't believe I forgot it. The light bulb gave it to me. One of these days, I'm going to have to convince her to let me do this on voice. That was part of the reason I had to come through and record the island tour like this was because um, I didn't have her on voice. I didn't. I recorded it initially without audio, and that made it really hard for me to actually edit. And I couldn't get it to make sense. So I had to come back here and tour it myself and then just use little snippets from that visit and add them throughout the video otherwise i would have been able to just um tour it like an interview and i would have been able to use the audio from that tour but she is a very very phone shy or voice shy even though she has the cutest voice you ever heard in life so this is the tomato farm i love the way she has the weeds growing in front of it in order to make it look like the tomatoes are growing out of the ground the little donut seat is kind of perfect for that. We have a background of a farm, which looks super nice. I love that. And then over here, we just had this nice little area um, behind the pumpkins. Okay, so here we are at the back of the island. We have a cute little farm back here. Look at the little chicken farm. This is so cute. The pearls as eggs is absolutely magical and amazing. I would have never thought of something like that. I would have just gone and used the um, the bunny day eggs. I would have never thought of that. But that looks so good. And then, of course, the cows, um, not the cows, the chickens are being sent off to the vet. They're not going to... To, yeah, they're not going to the unalive place. They're going to the veterinarian. That's all. And then they're going to come back. She made sure she let me know. And then here we have the wool, uh, the little lamb farm. And it's so cute with the wool. And we've got a little fabric loom. They're making fabric. They're making yarn. They're being so productive over here for all of the materials you need for a scrapbook. And then over here, we have um, some pigs getting into the cornucopias because, of course, they're getting into the cornucopias. And then a vacuum cleaner because you never know when you might want to clean up all of the mess over here. And then here we have a barn. This is just the cutest little barn I've ever seen. I love the way this looks. It's super adorable. Here we have a little bunny farm. Of course, there's going to be carrots laying around and little bunnies in the hills. I love the way she used all of the same kind of um, animals. She used the uh, year of the animal kind of zodiac, the zodiac animals, and they actually go really well together. So it was such a great idea to use those. I've never thought of doing that, but I think I'm definitely wanting to. And here we have some glue in case you want to like put things together. And then we have the stables over here, which is so cute. I love that with the little water bird in the middle. That looks super adorable as well. I would have never thought to use that. She's so creative with how she puts all of these things together and it, they look so good. So continuing over here, we're going to come to our Nook's Cranny, which of course is a supply shop. Um, they have a sale going on over here. And I love this little walkway going to Nook's Cranny. That looks so good. And then we have some felt being sold, some glue and yarn, sewing machines and various crafting supplies, which is so appropriate for our Nook's. And then last but not least we have a cute little hoedown over here oh my goodness look at how cute this is it looks like a little celebration it looks so fun we have all of the music playing over there we have the bottles of cider over here 
It's just a little party right over here and it is so cute. I love that. And then we can sit down and have a little buffet on the little ceramic cookware. It just looks super adorable. I love the way this looks. Oh my gosh. This is such a fun little scene right here. Right next to the hoedown, we have some activities that you can take part in on the beach. There's a little park over here, a ring toss, and a painting session going on. All things that are super appropriate for this island. And with that, we are going to have to leave you for the day. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you so much. I know you guys can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to spend a little bit of your time here with me and I appreciate that so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.